So today we will try to understand how to synthesize a 4 bar mechanism or how to design a 4 bar mechanism. Now here we have shown the three positions of the crank. So A, D dash, A, B and A, E. These are the three positions and suppose this is our reference. From this reference the angles which are measured are 54 degree then 90 degree for this A, B and 121.96 degree for A, E. So these are the three positions of the input crank. Now this is the grounded link or fixed link. So A F is the fixed link. Now we know only this particular data and from this we have to design the 4 bar mechanism. Here the meaning of synthesis over here is that for these 3 positions of the crank or input link we want some output link will also rotate through some predetermined angle that you can decide. And for example, if this is the value of the input angle, then when the crank rotates from this reference position up to this, we want the output link also to rotate to a certain degree. Then for these three positions, we can determine correct, or rather we can decide how what will be the uh, position of the output crank correct, that we want and accordingly we can design this particular mechanism. So this is known as the synthesis of the mechanism. So here we have shown the three input position and we know only the length of this particular grounded or fixed link. Now the first step is to draw this second position with this fixed point F. So A is a fixed point, F is also fixed point because this is the fixed link. Then the second step is to connect this E with respect to this with this F. So we have connected B with F and then this E with F. Now with F as a center and F B as a radius draw the circle. Similarly with F as a center and this and similarly with F as a center and F E as a radius draw the another circle. Then afterwards we can decide some position of the output link. Correct? So rotate this F B through the angle such that we want for this particular position of the input link what must be the rotation of the output link. Correct? So this is this particular rotational angle. So you can say that F B G will be the angle through which the output will link will rotate when the input link is at this particular position from the reference that is A, D or positive X axis. So when the input link rotates through this angle, then the output link will rotate through this particular angle. So that is the meaning of the synthesis. Then we can join this particular. So this is the position of the output link or this is the rotation through which the output link will rotate. Similarly, we can join this. So with F as the center and F E as a radius, we have drawn this particular circle. Now we have rotated this E through this particular angle that is E, F and H to this particular point. So that when the input crank is at this particular position, we want the output crank to rotate through this particular angle. Okay, that is E, F, H. So now let us join this D dash and G. Then again we will join this G with H. Now draw the perpendicular bisectors of this particular two lines that we have just joined over here. So we can say that this is the perpendicular bisector of D dash G. Similarly this is the perpendicular bisector. They will intersect at this particular point. Right? And this particular point is supposed to say I. So now we can join this D dash with I and I with F so that we will get the 4 bar mechanism. So we will join these two particular, suppose we join this, this is D dash is joined with I, this is our coupler link. Then we will join this, this is our output link. And then we will show this particular grounding link. 
So this is our forward mechanism. So here we have obtained the various dimension. For example, this was initially known to us. That is the dimension of the input link is four centimeter by scale, and this grounded link is ten centimeter by scale. Right? And now we have obtained what is the for the given particular three positions of the input crank and corresponding three positions of the output crank. Right? Output crank. We have obtained this particular mechanism. That is the coupler must be of nine centimeter length by scale. And this output link must be of 5.5 or 5.47 centimeter by length. So in this way, we can design this particular mechanism. Now, if we change this input angle, correct, okay, then accordingly, the mechanism will also change. Or rather, if we change this rotational of the output link also, then also the mechanism will change accordingly. So in this way, we have synthesized or rather we have designed the four bar mechanism. And we have obtained the links. So the coupler link is nine centimeter, and this output link is around five point five centimeter. So using these dimensions, we can draw the diagram. So we have so our input link is this particular. So with O as a center and this length four centimeter, we have drawn this particular circle from C. Draw the circle of nine centimeter radius so that we have already drawn over here. So from C, we have drawn this particular radius of nine centimeter. Now we know the grounded link length that is ten centimeter. So point B is known. So from B, draw a circle of five point five centimeter. So we have drawn this particular circle. These two circles, that is the circle with C as a center and nine centimeter as a radius. These two circles they will intersect each other at point G. So these are the same dimensions as we have determined. Correct from our synthesis, and now if we animate this, then you'll get the required four bar mechanism. So this is known as the synthesis of the mechanism. Now here we can trace the path of this coupler. This is a circular path that is traced by this particular coupler. So you can on this particular trace and. You get this particular tracing. So this is the angle through which the output link will rotate for the given input positions of the crank. So crank is rotating continuously, and this output link is oscillating. So in this way, we can design the four-bar mechanism.